Hello guys, my name is Pierre Scatch and today we're going to see how we can ignore some of our validators in our validation behavior inside mediators pipeline. Now I have a customer's API and uh, a customer's controller. It only has a, a create endpoint uh, which we get a create customer request and then we use our mediator to send a create customer command. Both request and command only had a full name property. So let's go to our command. Uh, the handle method doesn't do anything, uh, but we have two validators, a create customer validator 1 and a create customer validator 2. Finally, we have a validation behavior in which we inject uh, the validators of the request that we are processing and uh, then we invoke the validate async method uh, in each validator and then uh, we get the failures and at that point probably you would uh, throw a custom exception and uh, you would have a middleware that it will catch it and return the appropriate message with those values to whoever is calling the API. Now let's say that uh, I don't want that create customer validator to be used in the validation behavior. Now since those validators are specific to a command probably you wouldn't need to ignore one of them but maybe you have an edge case that you want to treat the, that validation failure differently or whatever. So let's see really fast how we can do that. I'll add a new attribute. I will add it in the root of our project for simplicity and let's call that pipeline ignore attribute. Okay, and that needs to inherit from the attribute class. Okay, and I will go to the create customer validator too and I will decorate the class with that pipeline ignore attribute. Now back to our validation behavior. Now I don't want all the validators. I want uh, the validators that are not decorated with that pipeline ignore attribute. So let's say var eligible validators equals with validators dot and uh, now we need to get the type of its validator and now to get a custom attribute and that will be our pipeline ignore attribute so type of pipeline ignore attribute and we need those validators that we can't get the attribute so that should be null so equal And now we need to validate our request only with those validators. So in here, replace validators with eligible validators. Now let's put a breakpoint and let's debug our application. And I'll open Postman and I have already created a request. So let's send that. And we hit our breakpoint. Now our validators, as you can see, are two, the great customer validator one and the great customer validator two. Now let's step over to see our eligible validators. And now, as you can see, our eligible validators contain only one validator, the great customer validator one, since the second one was decorated with that pipeline ignore attribute. Now, if you want to see more about attributes, in a previous video that we implemented the, the authorization in the application level of an application that uses a clean architecture, we had the custom authorize attribute uh, that we decorated our queries and commands with it and uh, it wasn't an empty class and also hold a role property because we did role based authorization. So when we try to get the command and queries that were decorated with that authorized attribute, we also separate them through the properties value of that attribute. Anyway, that's all I had for this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a nice one.